Hey all, this is Seviar here, and I'm here to show you the Warhammer 40k Dawn of War Retribution Beta. Uh, this, I just got into this beta about a couple days ago. I've been playing it a little bit. I, if you're watching this video and you're looking how to be a pro, uh, you should look somewhere else. This is just, I'm just going to show you what this game's about. You know, what's going on, what's happening, you know, if you think you should buy it or whatnot. Uh, I couldn't... From my personal perspective, I couldn't tell you much about the Dawn of War series. I've dabbled with it. It's a, you know, you'll see. It's a kind of over the top RTS with a mix of Dota somewhere in there, kind of. Although it certainly didn't steal from Dota because I'm fairly sure Dawn of War came out before Dota. But anyways, here we are in the main menu, and I'm gonna show you one or two things before we get into the actual game here which is probably going to be against the bot because I'm not good at this game and matchmaking is kind of slow especially when there's only a thousand two hundred nine players online okay so the thing I want to show you is this cool kind of army painter thing you know I'll show you these races here in a minute but I'm going to show you the Eldar uh, here's one of the hero units which I'll explain in a moment uh, let's go with that guy now you see here we can we can customize the guy's color you know, we could say, we can do, hey, I want a new skin. So let's call this Test Numero Uno. Okay. And we can go ahead and change this guy's color scheme right down here first. Oh, we want, let's see, we can go up here actually. <laughs> My bad. We can change this guy's color scheme. you see he'll change over here. Click that again. Double click it. And we'll go back down. So say, if I wanted him to be blue with a mix of hot pink, that'd be perfectly acceptable. Warhammer will let you do that. Fortunately, down here, there's no, uh, you, you see it down here, how, oh, right here, how it's like half and half. I'm assuming that's only for the Space Marines, and I'll just show you that, because look at, if I click half and half, look, he's put right down the middle. Or if I click this, he's kind of doing a little checkerboard thing. You know, he's just doing his own thing, you know. The Tech Marine doesn't give a shit what you think. He's a Tech Marine. So, anyways, we're going to go back up to Eldar, because that's the race I'm going to try to play. You're going to watch me attempt to play it. Uh, as you see, the same color scheme affects the whole, you know, race. But, these are your three hero units right here. No, not that one. The Farseer, the Warlock, and the Warp Spider Exarch. Yeah, I don't like him too much either. He kind of scares me. Anyways, we're going to, we're probably going to play the Farseer. So, we're going to make a nice looking color scheme for her. Uh, let's see, what color do I want? Ooh, I'm guessing these ones are more glossier than these ones, so let's have a look at that. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I like that, I like that, but let's go with that. Ah, I like that too, but not as much as I would hope. So, we're going to go with this green kind of thing. It's pretty shiny. I like that. That's really cool. So, we're going to click on that again. While I do like the pink, it just does not go with the green, so we're going to go with this kind of goldish color right here. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what we're rocking right here. She doesn't give a shit what you think either. So, we're going to go with that green there too. And then this last one, and we're going to leave it black. Because, you know, that's just how we roll. And test one, and then we can... There's one more feature, there's a badge. Uh, I'm not sure where the badge is on this one, so let's change it. Uh... I don't see it anywhere. Maybe it's just for other units. Some units have it, some others don't. Like I said, she doesn't give a shit what you think, so she's just gonna be her own thing. Anyways, I'm gonna choose this one that kinda looks like a heart. And I'm gonna click accept. Alright, and now we're back here in the main menu. Uh, I'm gonna create a custom game because, like I said previously, matchmaking when there's more players than there was previously. It's pretty slow, so it doesn't always work right. Plus, I'm pretty horrible at this game, so yeah. Anyways, we're gonna go into this custom game option. We're gonna choose private because no, we don't want to let anyone else see what we're doing. Like I said before, here we have your six races. Now, if I showed you this guy, there's three heroes. You know, the, there's typically three heroes. Well, there's always three heroes, but there's usually one defense and one offense. And then there's one support guy who kind of does different things. Like, if you see here, he's a Commissar Lord, and he, he's a Commissar Lord, so that's what he does. And then, ooh, maybe I was wrong. See, this one, the, the, these orcs, which are pretty brutal, they're pretty, they have some good teeth. Anyways, they don't have a defense. They have a support and a stealth. 
And if we go down here to these weird tyrant dies, whatever species, uh, they have they don't have a sport or defense. They have a tunneler and an ambush. I don't know what those mean yet, so I'm just gonna go back to the Eldar, which I have kind of experience with. And you see the color scheme going on here. Uh, hmm. I have an experience with a Farce here, but she's more more for team games. But I'm just gonna play a one v one here, so I'm just gonna go with her. You know, she's rocking her cool armor. Like I said, she doesn't give a shit if you think it's gay or anything. And I'm gonna click this here ready button. Uh, I'm just gonna leave the computer on normal. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, we'll just put it on easy for the demo purposes. I'll. I'll probably go in and find a better match later on but with real people but let's see this game can go up to 3v3 currently at least in the beta it might go up more or it might go down I don't want I don't want to see the reason why it go down though that's just kind of weird but we're just gonna do a 1v1 and you see these two people means there's only two people out on the map aside from observers so we're gonna go ice station nah hive nah Nah. Nah. Ah, that one works. Let's see. Vic nah. We'll go with victory control point, even though I don't know what the difference is yet. <laughs> now, number of tickets. I want this to be a fairly short game, so I'm just going to move with that. And uh, fix starting location. Yeah, that's fine. Starting resource. Yeah, because he'll. if I give him more resources, he'll probably know what to do with them more, and I'll probably die fast. So, anyways, we're just going to click this here start button. And I'm sorry it's taking so long, you know. Please regard me. If you know what movie that's from, I'll give you a cookie because I love that movie. Please, please regard me. Boom. Encouragement. Encouragement, my friend. Encouragement. Anyways, here we go. Now. Right now. Any second now. Oh, I have to click a key. Oh. That makes me look good. Okay, so you start off, you kind of have this cool... Oh, the base changes colors, too. That's really awesome. You can zoom in way too much in this game. Uh, you start off with this guy, and you start off with this guy. They're just your basic base defenses. You know, if you look here, they can only fire that way. And in between these two, uh, three lines, you know, in between this main line and this other one. So can this guy. They're your base defenses. And here's your hero. Your hero is pretty important in this game. She can do, he or she or it, if you want to go like that, can do a lot of crazy things. Like, she can walk fast. And she's going to go for this control point. Because if you look up here, that's what this mode's mainly about. It's about controlling the control points. And that's basically what you want to do. Because these control points, if you've ever played Battlefield, you know, kind of a domination thing. It, these games can last for quite a while. Because if you've ever played Call of Duty with a domination... Battlefield with Conquest, whatever you like. These are basically this is basically the exact same thing, except you're pushing each other back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's not always just oh, uh, I got the two points first. You know, it's mine. I'm probably gonna win this game. No, it's back and forth, back and forth. You see how I captured one, and my enemy hasn't captured one. Then there's one or else. I'm pushing the, his points down, but my points won't go up because that's I don't know. I'm going to send this guy way the hell in the middle. And then I'm going to go here. I'll explain that later. Anyways, just the continuation of this. It's just like Domination or Conquest. It, it just goes, you get points, blah, 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 blah. Who doesn't like points? You know, if you don't like points, there's something wrong with you. Except if they're bad points. I don't know what type of but points, bad points are. Just, I don't like them. Anyways, we're going to keep going here. We're just going to send her. Go here. Oh, one more thing. Like I said, this game's going to last forever. If you say, if he has this one point, and I have this one point, and we're fighting over this middle point, it'll go back and forth like this thing right here can go left and right, left and right, left and right, left and right. Back and forth, forever and ever. Yeah, it's not very fun once you get really, really late. But in later games, it just kind of gets really fun. Now, if I was bad at, if I was, well, if the computer was any good, which he's not, because he's on EV, obviously. 
then he'd probably be kicking my ass right now. And I'd probably die, and I'd probably be calling, crying myself to sleep tonight. But that's okay. The computer's gonna be crying itself to sleep tonight. Eh, I don't know why it'd be crying itself to sleep, because I turn it off usually, but that's okay. Anyways, we're gonna go here and kinda explain this stronghold thing. Now, if you ever played Age of Empires, you'll remember kinda this, this uh, tech thing. You know, you get basic units. Well, for any RTS, generally, you have, like, your tech thing. But with this, it's basically your level 2. Well, it's it's defined as levels. In Age of Empires, they're usually defined as ages. But in this, they're called levels, you know? How exciting. Uh-oh, that's bad. We'll get back to explain that. You guys, go kick his ass. Do something. I don't know. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Oh, those guys are just getting annihilated. Oh, okay. Oh, you're gonna retreat. Oh, they're gonna die though. They're gonna die. Get are you gonna die? You're gonna die. Oh, that's sad. Okay. Well, there's a certain there's a you see what that exclamation mark was above that guy. Well, one of the key things you want to do in this game is manage your units. Here, I'm going to build another squad. I'll explain that in a minute, like I said five minutes ago. But, like I said, you want to manage your units. So, one of the things is you don't want your units to die, especially if you've invested upgrades into them, like you see here. Here's an upgrade for this guy, but 